Hi guys. Um, welcome back, guys. I want to give you guys a quick update on Sweetie Pies, guys. Terrica Ellis has been to court and she will sit in jail, according to the judge, until trial. Um, the reason why the judge in this article that I have just found out and I want to read to you guys what it says. It says that a federal judge on Friday ordered a defendant in a murder for hire case involving a former star on the Welcome Sweetie Pies reality television show held in jail until trial. Terrica Tanisha Ellis is one of the two defendants, defendants charged in the 2016 murder of Andre Montgomery Jr., the grandson of Robert Montgomery, owner of the Sweetie Pies restaurant in the St. Louis area. Defender lawyer Brock Morrison said Ellis was not a danger and needed to be home to take care of her two-year-old daughter, who has a severe type sickle cell anemia and needs constant monitoring. Ellis had pled not guilty. A proud Ellis lawyer, a, a proud Ellis lawyer, lawyer had argued that she wasn't accused of knowing about the murder in advance. Robert Montgomery's son, James Timothy. Tim Norman, as we know, Tim Norman, as we know, told Ellis he needed her help to find and confront Andre Montgomery about the $200,000 cash allegedly that he stole from Miss Miss Robbie's house. Um, um, it says here, Assistant U.S. Attorney Angie Dans Dans said Friday that Ellis failed to report the crime for more than four years and was both a danger to the community and a flight risk. Um, it says here, a court document says Ellis reported Andre Montgomery's location on the day he was killed the first time to Tim and the second time to an anonymous man. And she used a prepaid cell phone. Ellis heard gunshots as she pulled away from the scene of the murder and dumped her prepaid phone at a gas station as she drove home to the Memphis suburbs, according to court testimony. If convicted, both Tim and Ellis could face up to a life in prison without parole. Um, it says that the charge also triggers a review by officials in Washington as to whether prosecutors should seek the death penalty, although approval is where, rare. Uh, Tim is also has been arrested, guys, and as you know, as I reported, you know, Tim went to court, but he refused to show his face on camera, and they said that he's he's been very upset. So, um. So what this is saying is, guys, Terrica will not be getting out of jail. She will not have a bond here. She will not be getting out on bond because of the fact that she knew about the murder and then reported. And she set him up to be killed. Now, I don't think, and we have not found the trigger guy yet. I don't know why we haven't found the trigger guy yet, but she had, in order for her, to get some kind of lenience, she gonna have to report the trigger guy. So guys, we're gonna I'm gonna report on it some more. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you'll know each time I come out with a video. Y'all have a wonderful day.